Hello and welcome to The Rocket. I'm Amaryllis with this week's announcements and reminders. First up, we here at The Rocket hope that everything went well for you during conferences. Anyway, I know we say this literally every time, but keep your phone and headphones in your locker. Unless you just really want it to get snatched by a teacher, then go ahead. Wednesday's double threat of wearing pink and online shopping can't be beat. So put on your primrose and check out the Mars store in your first period advisory. All the nice things you get will be delivered to you in your 8th period discovery by Friday. Before we continue, let's hear the quote of the week. Gandhi once said, you must be the change you want to see in the world. Well, that's it for me. I will see you at the end for a few final thoughts. But first, here's some upcoming November birthdays. Hi, I'm Aubrey here with Entertainment Today. To kick us off, we have the Weekly Clubs. Monday has Miss Ankler hanging out and doing some fabulous nails. If you like adventures, you should join the Dungeons and Dragons Club. They meet on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. See Mrs. Duffy for more information. Drama Club meets on thir Tuesdays and Thursdays to show off their talent. See Mishowski for more information. On Tuesdays and Fridays, Mr. Stout and Mr. Y run Gay Club. This includes chess and Rubik's. If you like to draw or paint, our club, our club is the place to be. Let me on Wednesdays see Miss Arthur in the art, art room for a permission slip. We will be painting murals, creating with clay, plasters, and more. CCLIM, also known as Colorado's College Learning Initiative in the Mountains, meets on Wednesdays from 4 to 6 p.m. They partner with college students. There will be multiple on-site on and off-site activities. Students will need a way at home at 6 p.m. See Ms. Tomerlin in room 114 for the deets. If you're into anime, make sure to join Kate Stewart in room 160 for anime club on Thursdays. New to Thursdays is the Nintendo Club. Honestly, that sounds pretty sick. See Mr. Ross in room 122 for a permission slip. The pumpkin explosion is going to be tomorrow at the soccer field from 304 to 344. All are welcome. And before we pass it on, pass it on to sports, we have a word of the week flashback for you. Kidding me, right? This is a joke, isn't it? This is what I call compliment sandwich. I knew it was a bad idea to let them talk me into playing office. I find something nice, then we need improvement. Then I finish with something nice. Something nice, something nice. Aha! You look like Snoopy and it makes me smile. Area of improvement. You have deliciously smelly doggy butt. You don't want to talk. You better have something nice to say now. Really impressed with that rep from Chicago. That so called rep was mom. I was just trying to get outside before I exploded all over the house.
Hi, and I'm Brandon with this week's sports. Today we are going to discuss intramurals, wrestling, and track. Before we get into that, there will be an archery field trip this Friday, but in order to go, you must pay $5 and you must attend at least two practices. There are three more practices tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, and this Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. The intramural schedule is basketball on Tuesday, soccer and basketball on Thursday, and Friday is battle ball. Now we're up to wrestling. The team is fighting hard at every meet, and this week's fighter and wrestler of the week is David Gavin. Before we head off to the weekly anti-trash commercial and final thoughts, the Lady Titans have their first game this week against Russell. Ladies, it's not too late to join and fill out the team. Good luck, and catch you next week. to put their trash in the trash and they leave it on the ground or on benches and they put it they can put it anywhere and they don't care about people that might care about the environment the solution is to keep trash off the campus is to put more trash cans around school and make up a reward system after school rewarding PBIS points for every piece of trash they pick up two one my thoughts about this experience is that is that it is it's better to prevent trash from getting on the ground in, in the first place. And if people don't throw it away in the trash in the ground, the school it would be more cleaner. Just because you get distracted doesn't mean you should pick up your trash. I think that even after school, you always should be a good. Uh, do a good deed and clean it uh, even after school hours. The conclusion of, of the experiment is that the trash that can be everywhere and you should throw your trash away and people don't throw away their trash and that they should. Welcome back, it's me Amaryllis and I'm here to give you all a few more announcements. Don't forget that the 340 bell means to go directly to your advisory to plug in your computers. No going to the bathroom or your lockers. If you need to go to the nurse, don't go unless it is an emergency. Alright, that's it for today. I'll see you next week with another episode of The Rocket. Okay, bye!